Now to the antitrust uh, trial against Google. Apple executive Eddie Q will testify today, uh, likely about the deal uh, that made uh, Google the default search engine <coughs> on iPhone and iPad browser. Steve Kovac joins us now uh, with more. It's kind of intriguing. Yeah, it's a big one. Yeah, so Apple's Eddie Q expected to testify today in the government's antitrust case against Google. And so you guys might be asking, why is Eddie Q at a trial against Google? Well, he's in charge of services at Apple. That includes the App Store, Apple TV+, Apple Music for you, Joe, and the billions a year <laughs> Apple collects from Google to keep Google Search the default on iPhones and other Apple gadgets. And that's the key to the government's case against Google, alleging Google uses its deep pockets to pay companies like Apple, Samsung, and more to be the default search engine, squeezing out smaller competitors. Now, I'm told by sources familiar with Q's testimony today, he plans to defend the arrangement with Google, saying, for example, he believes Google is the best search engine and that users still have the option to switch their default. He'll also say Apple doesn't make its own search engine because Google's is already there and they consider it the best. And Apple doesn't need to allocate all those resources to building its own search engine. Now, some perspective on why Q would defend the arrangement in federal court. Those Google payments go towards Apple's important services revenue segment. And according to analysts at Bernstein in a note just last week, Google will pay Apple about $19 billion this fiscal year. That's about a quarter of all services revenue. Now, the testimony is likely going to be closed today. Another Apple executive testified in the same case last week. His was closed as well. But we're going to find out for sure later this morning, guys. You're going to... If something really major happens, you'll let us know. I, I hope. Absolutely. What, will you know? What, what are they... Okay, what... what what would be a, a totally surprising outcome, in your view? If, first of all, if it's open. Now, Apple and um, Google have fought to keep these testimonies under seal because a lot of trade secrets are going, uh, being passed around in this trial. What everyone wants to know, though, is how much is Google paying Apple? You know, we have that $19 billion estimate. In, in court, there was an estimate that went from like four to seven billion. Apple kind of refuted that, but we've never gotten the actual number from Apple on this. All right, so Steve, last week we had Tim Wu with us. Yeah. He was one of the architects of uh, the Biden administration's antitrust um, admi uh, policy. Right, and he and left going recently. After this. Yeah. He left recently, so he's talking. He joined us last week. He said that he thinks this is a really strong case for the government. I, I kind of said, look, what, this is the equivalent of somebody selling the end of the aisle at a grocery store. Right. If there's another bidder who will come in and pay more, how is that anti-competitive? You could see Bing potentially paying up for something they like could, this. They could, and they could if they wanted to, but, yeah. it, you know, Apple keeps uh, towing the line between, you know, there's an irony here, right, Becky? You have Tim Cook coming out blasting the business models on, on the privacy front for Google and Facebook, yet still choosing the lucrative Google deal to keep that search. They say it's the best. Maybe they really believe that, but they also believe that $19 billion a year that you know we're, we keep talking about is super important to them. So if Google loses this, yeah. that's bad for Apple. Right. 19 is up. It was, I wish you had been here for that conversation uh, with him because I, it, he basically said everything Lena Khan has done has made sense because consumers have been so harmed. And I said, well, where? And he, he kept falling back on, on the health care yeah. Sector for right. where they they healthcare is one thing I get that it, technology is a little well, different. But then it came. Then two days ago, the, the article was a hedge fund that's made hedge funds that have made right. so much money betting against betting against the guy. That's been the whole thing with this regulatory scrutiny we see with big tech is where's the consumer harm? You can kind of see it. it so much of this is affecting developers and people kind of behind the scenes. But you and me, we're still paying you know ten bucks a month for right. Spotify he, he or whatever argued it, might it was be. perfectly reasonable for Lena Khan to bring a case against every single situation to see what sticks and it made me think he did say that in there's this a case it's losing. guilty before innocent we're gonna assume that this is bad and this by the way they're still fighting the Activision deal that's right. we thought it was yeah. over it's not over they're they assume over. every merger is bad and then you got to prove that it's good it's like the opposite of, of innocent and their track records not super good it's not criminal court yeah. though but one of the things that's to me so interesting about what Lena Khan is doing is I think even in cases where she's losing in some ways I think she thinks that she's winning certain parts of the argument so sometimes you've seen rulings where she where the overall case she's lost but within the ruling there is right. effectively not new Something law good bills, is coming but from that? no, no. I'm not saying I don't know whether it's good or bad. For her, but I'm saying the boundaries. For, for for the antitrust legal community, 
new sort of thinking is emerging in some of the rulings. Even if the, the overall ruling right. is a loss, there are things that then can that's get a, used for the next case. Now, the it's yeah, well, I'm not sure that I that. think that it's appropriate per se, yeah. to go after a company, especially if you were to Just know to that you would point. lose, to get one point that you could then use later. That seems problematic. Tim, Tim Wu said that he's not sure he agrees with that either, that, right. uh, that there is a cost to continuing to lose. He said this is different, though, than the Obama administration, where people were so frustrated because right. they would never bring any case well, unless I they were absolutely that, sure they I would. said Lena Khan wouldn't even make a Major League Baseball team with her batting average. He right. said, well, five or 600. And he goes, she's not batting 500. She's batting... It's way less than that. But look, you also got... It almost... It's not a perfect comparison, but it almost reminds me about the abortion cases, right? You, we just saw for decades chipping away and chipping away and chipping away until we got the result that we got last year. You can kind of see this being a longer-term play. Just yeah. chip away, chip away, chip away, chip away until you get what you want. But do you, know, 15, does, do you get some that. huge pendulum swing if there's a new administration that comes back Probably, in? Like, do you yeah, throw yeah, it all yeah. out the window? Uh, but, another Trump term? Does but, this all go yeah. out the window? Right. Who knows? But although we, although it, Trump brought some of these cases, too. That's true. Yep. I mean, this, so a lot not. of this started under the Trump administration, and, and especially the DOJ case. But appointees right, these, can be... Remember the NLRB, former lady? Yeah. She was like... I mean, she... I'm sure she's on the line right, right now, right. picketing. And so, I just, don't, in the end, on this Apple case today, I mean, the situation today, have you played with Bing? I mean, it's good, but it's, it's not, good. It's no, not no, Google. I'd much rather have it. It's not Google. I've been using it more and more. It's actually not bad. Bing? Yeah? yeah but Bing. you think it's as good as Google? No, Google's from ground. Okay. okay. And, and that's Apple's stance. That's what Apple's argument is. We use it because it's the best. It's best for our users. We can't create a better system. I don't even understand that argument. If it's the best, why are they paying you $19 billion for it to be there? Wouldn't you just want the best for it to be there? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can do it for free. I don't right. Think if it's, it's the best, right. it's yeah, the best. Call, but it's, this is, there's a reason why this goes under the services business because it's also, it's not just being the default. It's based on usage. So the more people are searching and clicking, on Google, the more money Apple makes from Google, you can kind of look at this in Google's results too, how much they're paying companies like Apple each quarter. And you, Mr. Tech, but you, you let him fix my phone my, because you knew my... my I was watching happened. in the control Here's room. what happened this morning. Flat tire on... on uh, you don't want a flat tire on the turn pack. You really don't, number one. Number two, no Apple Music. The entire library was uh, disappeared. You know, you everyone, know thinks, everyone thinks... Like no Captain and Tennille. Right. No uh, in the sink. <laughs> no... Uh,